Real Agriculture Outcomes coverage of NCBA 2012 in Nashville is brought to you by The Corn School. Visit us at cornschool.com and Haney Farms, the certified barley and corn seed for the silage yield you want. Hey Clay, we're at NCBA 2012. What, what does your company do? Uh, our company is Farrell Ross Roll Manufacturing. We manufacture flaking mills, uh, cracking mills for cracking grains and uh, processing feed for animals. So, I guess, what are, what are some of the advantages of the, of the flaking mill? Uh, the flaking mill, uh, the flakes uh, uh, over ground feed, you get more starch availability out of a steam flake uh, rather than having ground, like the, uh, this here's uh, steam flaked corn, and you get a lot more starch out of it than you would, say, a, a ground feed. Of course, it costs more to process the flakes, so... What would be the cost difference to produce the flakes, roughly, you think? Uh, probably about uh, $2, two dollars a ton, roughly somewhere in there. So, I guess, what makes the, the, the flat flake different or better as far as starch uptake than the, than the ground? What makes it better? Yeah. Um, well, the starch is what makes the animal gain weight quickly. So, you know, you get more starches out of the flakes, out of the cooked steam flake than you would ground feed. So, and it really depends on uh, what size operation you have. There's a certain point where you start flaking, like say 10,000 heads up. That's where you start looking at steam flakes over ground feed. So. Okay, so we got we got your machine here behind us, your roller. Right. So, You've got demonstrations there of corn, but you obviously can do this with barley as well, or wheat? Barley, wheat, uh, sorghum, uh, really any kind of grains uh, they've run through. Corn is uh, probably the most uh, most used in the flaking industry. Uh, kind of depends on location. Uh, up in Canada, for instance, it's barley. So we, uh, I just recently went there and started up a, a system there, and uh, that's what they were, 90% barley there. So some corn. But. So in terms of the steaming process, how does it work? The steam uh, over here is uh, kind of a cutaway design of our steam chest. It's all stainless steel, as you can see, but the the grain goes in the top of it. It's typically 30 foot tall, and uh, the grain will go in the top, and it gets steam injected on it right there. And then uh, you know it, it's got to be in the steamed environment for about 50 minutes before it before it comes down and hits the rolls. So basically, just softens it. Up. Softens, cooks it, cooks it, and gets the starches broke down. And then the roll, as the roll's flaking it, that's the corrugations. That's what really breaks down the starches and makes them more available to the animal. So, so what's the throughput of some of your machines? Uh, we've got several different sizes. Uh, this one here, for instance, is a popular machine. It's uh, it's about a 10 ton per hour system. This one here is about 20 ton per hour. It, uh, our largest machine will produce uh, 45 ton an hour. So, and, uh, and then we go down to one ton an hour machines too. So, lots lots of you know different sizes for different applications. Thanks, Clay. You bet.